Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> hey everyone, Boston here. Nobs is over there with the controller. We are, uh, he's playing... Oh, and Ryan's over there behind the camera. Sorry, I didn't mean to forget you. That's just... My bad. Okay. Um, Nobs is playing Tornado Outbreak on the uh, Xbox 360. And, uh... Going... Whoa, God. <laughs> God, that was a little fire guy that time. And it, uh... Absorbed. Seems like it's sort of Katamari-ish in quality, except more destruction than star making. It's actually quite fun. I've been playing it for a while now. Oh, get out of the sun! <laughs> yeah, we, um... We interviewed, uh... One of the programmers on the game, Andrew Yoder, uh, a whole bunch of episodes ago. Um... And this was the game he was working on, and uh, finally worked it, worked it out of the pile of shame, and uh, I rescued it. He rescued it from the, the bowels of the pile of shame, and uh, you've been playing for oh, an hour been or so. For a couple hours now. <laughs> oh, what time we get here? About five-ish. Yeah, something like that. It's like six thirty now, so I kind of like the the style of the tornado. Oh, it's it's kind of polygonal, polygonally thick. Eh? Try to get to that portal because you know tornadoes need portals. <laughs> Ooh, what's this oh, guy? Hello. What was that? Looks like Thank you. What was that? Totem carefully. Approach it carefully. You're like a Category 80 tornado. That's not good. Oh. Oh, gotta avoid the sun. I like the character of Zephyr. Yeah. Wish he hit water to turn into like a water spout. Mm hmm. The energy cores are its weak spot. Once one of the doors opens up, that almost sounds like the guy who does Spike's voice. He closes again. <laughs> almost. I don't think so. Just left stick to attack. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. That was awesome. Look at him, he's happy. he's proud of himself. He just pummeled the crap out of that thing. Zephyr's mission log, entry two. Captain's log. Start eight. I tell you, this game's very well -y. Well, Lee, <laughs> the game's done very well. Like everything's got a real neat style to it. Yeah, I like how these cutscenes are real, real clean. Well, everything seems to be real clean. Uh, I really like when you're sitting around, and you're not moving. Like in most, like character type games like this, the guy does something. Like he'll, hop, Zephyr will hop out of the tornado, and you'll see him, and he's got like this real swirling, ponytailed looking thing. It looks kind of neat. Flash made a secret grin behind his scarf. Yeah, Scarface. Things were only going to get more dangerous now that the Fireflyers knew we were here. Oh, they knew the we Firefly. Were here. The Feds know we're here. We got to get out. Those apps. <laughs> How quickly my innocence was ripped away. Tornado. Look at me. Break. I'm so young and cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baby tornado. I do like the style of the tornado. It's got a real neat look to it. Mm -hmm. It's sort of interesting because it's not graphically that complex, but it's uh, I mean, kind of neat. I think it's just neat stylistically. It r really reminds me of a Double Fine game. Yeah. Yeah, because Double Fine, everything kind of has a, a thickness, like everything is a little chunky. Alright, let's hop in here. Ruckusville. That, that ville is serious. A whole bunch of ruckus. It's going on. Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> Oh, loading, 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 loading. Like powder toast, man. Loading. Zephyr's mission log, entry three. The <laughs> These guys with the, the wings on their heads. Yeah, what are? Just had no time for sleep. Their welfare was my responsibility. So to help man, them, man, those dudes are lounging. <laughs> what is this like a a, a war game? Like what's going on? I, I don't know. I guess we're fighting the fire flyers. 
Oh, right, the natural enemy of wind. Oh, the wind warriors. Luckily, <laughs> Nimbus was more adept. Luckily, Nimbus was smarter in general. Next location. He cracked my tail when I was confused with my hit face. Apparently, it's all. That was a total beep boop. Beep, She's beep, good beep, to go. It's one of those moments where it's like, yeah, I'm hitting buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I do like this in the intro of the video. You get to go through this whole level. Fireflyers hmm. scatter, trying to find refuge in those human dwellings. Don't worry, I'll get them out of here. In those human buildings. <laughs> On those filthy land dwellers. <clears throat> oh, my sand, my sand castle. <laughs> oh, skunk! I love how it just kind of flings them off into the sky. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my dog to get one of those. Oh. Impressive. Did you see that uh, that one video about Mortal Kombat with jo with uh, Johnny Cage? Like somebody's explaining to him that it's a tournament. No. And he's like, no, it's not a tournament. It's me fighting a bunch of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, what's this? I gotta fight myself? I gotta fight a clone? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I wish I could remember the name of that. It was really funny. Poor stupid Johnny Cage. I'm trying to see if I can find out who the voices are in, in this. Oh no. Oh, look at all the bones. Oh my god. <laughs> Rated T for team. That's genius. I was not expecting that. Like it was just a pet cemetery, so it's fine. These, uh, these Those look like pet skulls. Mr. Nibbles, no! And it came back. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently a chicken man riding on a motorcycle. See, that's the great thing I love about Katamari that I can see a little bit of in this game. You just run across something absolutely insane, like a chicken man riding a motorcycle. I definitely like how they did uh, destructible things. Like you, you know, you can get it if it's wobbling, like it's being blown. Yeah, and I like how you sort of break it down. It's not like you kind of grab up a whole car at once. I can definitely say this can kind of get a little bit addicting with trying to string all these fire flyers together. Oh yeah. So it does give you that little bit of a boost. Dang son. Return to the load star. I wish it did kind of have some sort of debris pile that, like, towards the base of it, that would mm -hmm. get a little bit wider. Yeah, I was, I was sort of uh, expecting things to be swirling around it. But for as much as going on the screen right now, yeah, that's true. Spectacular. <laughs> Be valid. <laughs> nice. That's kind of an interesting way that they uh, they keep borders on the levels, though, without putting a lot of invisible walls there or, or making it weird. They just have the sun there. That's kind of clever. Hmm? <laughs> uh, I'm almost done. Oh, no, there are quarters. Ah, oh, it no. used to be right into the sun. Alright, since we're running out of time, 
See everyone later. Laters. Tornadoes. <laughs>